I don't even know if this is on right now. <laughs> um, I am officially back on YouTube. Wow. That feels so weird to say right now, honestly. <laughs> I am back. I just want to do a little chit chat, get ready with me, and just kind of, I guess, talk to you guys about, I guess, why I left YouTube and just some other reasons why I just never got back on YouTube. But I do want to mention that I will be talking about anxiety and depression disorder. If you are sensitive to talking about like the symptoms of anxiety or depression, then I will suggest you maybe skip a little bit of head um but yeah i will be talking about that and my disorders and stuff like that but let's just get started so i already did my skincare already which i could do another video on that but for right now i kind of want to focus on talking with you guys and also just you know doing my makeup with you guys in a chit chat video so i have my starbucks I have literally been drinking this for like a while. You can see I got a venti and my order is a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew. If you have not tried it yet, you really need to. It is literally the best at Starbucks. This is what I always get even if it's cold. Right now it's like 50 degrees right now in Texas so it's a little bit chilly but you know we're gonna make it through it. I already did my skincare so now we're just gonna go on to priming my face and stuff like that so i have all of my makeup over here and for primer i'm going to be using the elf acne fighting putty primer i have been loving this stuff recently it has just been helping i feel like with my acne and also as you can see i am breaking out i have been breaking out really bad for the past like i don't even know honestly for the past like five months maybe like i'm just breaking out on and off on and off like my skin would clear up and then i would just break out again which is literally so annoying but i mean we're just gonna get through it i do have some mascara on because i just filmed a tiktok video and if you do not follow me on tiktok i will put my little at right here and I would also put my username of my TikTok and my Instagram right here for you guys. And yeah, I just filmed the TikTok and I wanted to do the TikTok first and then do this YouTube video. Because um, I was trying out like a hair product. So, you know, kind of like wanted to do that. And if you guys see me looking this way, it's because I have a mirror like right here, right by the camera. So I'm going to be looking this way kind of sometimes just to, you know make sure that i'm not putting the product anywhere else but yes i would 100 percent recommend this acne um elf fighting putty primer love this stuff so much the acne one i've been using because of course as you can see my acne is like mad at me my face is mad at me honestly i'm gonna go in with my elf halo glow liquid filter this is in the color or the shade for medium when this came out i was like searching heb target walmart like so many stores to find it like after a week i gave up honestly because it was literally like sold out everywhere and i was just like i'm never gonna get this in my hands like what the heck like this is just not going it's not it, i'm never gonna get it you know i'm gonna have to wait like months for it finally i got it I love it I love it so much I kind of use it sometimes as like just foundation and then do concealer and that's it because it gives my face such like a good glow which I love I have very dry skin so I like to have a glowy face and do glowy makeup because of my dry skin so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to just pat that all in I think this is a little bit darker for me but it's okay we're gonna work with it. I actually use a lighter um, concealer right here I use a Milani concealer this is the conceal imperfection long wear concealer and this is literally my favorite concealer I did a drugstore makeup video uh, for TikTok like 
a couple i think like a month ago i think trying out like drugstore makeup and literally this was my favorite product and i still use it this is like a holy grail for me i got the color 135 this is medium beige i have not found a concealer that i liked in so long i actually do love the kosas concealer this is in the color 6.2 n but it is so expensive and so i feel like the milani is kind of a dupe for the kosas one honestly i love the kosas one don't get me wrong like this was the first concealer that i was like oh my god i'm in love with it i ran out of it as you can see i barely have like anything in here i do use it like to sometimes spot conceal that's it because it does like match my skin tone but the milani one it's just cheap affordable and like it's so creamy and so good to use i just love it i actually need to go wet my beauty blender because i did not do that before this video so i'm gonna go do that real quick and then i will be right back all right i am back i wetted my little beauty sponge this is the real technique sponge i love it i am now gonna go in with my rem beauty concealer this concealer is in the color medium 6w i got it to kind of match like my actual like skin tone i tried this concealer under my eyes did not like it at all my under eyes i have always had problems with concealers like creasing and stuff like that and i heard good reviews on this honestly i really did but just it didn't work for under my eyes and i thought honestly from the video that she posted of like a sneak peek of the concealer in that video it looked super creamy and like like stuff i don't know it just looks super creamy but when i got it i was like this does not look creamy at all like it's like i don't know like it just doesn't look that creamy as what i thought it would be so i just use it as a spot conceal which i actually like to use as spot conceal i feel like it covers up my acne really good so that's why i still have it i would have returned it but honestly it was past like I think the 30 days and i am bad at remembering stuff so i still use it but i just use it just to spot conceal that's really it but yeah so that is what i'm putting on now and now i'm gonna talk to you guys about why i am back here on youtube so i have always wanted to get back on youtube after like i just kind of stopped honestly i think i stopped the last video was probably like my freshman year either my freshman year or my sophomore year of college i am still in college right now but we'll get into that in a little bit um but i think at that time i was dealing with my anxiety not as much as i do now but i was dealing with it a little bad um and you know and so i think that's why i kind of stopped and then i kind of lost motivation you know i didn't really have that much followers so i wasn't doing it to like make money or anything i was really doing it just because i loved to edit videos and sit down and be on my computer and do cute edits and stuff like that you know but i have recently been making more tiktok videos getting more like brand deals and stuff like that i guess you can say i'm like a micro influencer i guess not really i have a following on tiktok and i have like some discount codes and stuff like that i do it for fun I do it because I like to make videos. I've always been into making videos ever since high school. I've always been into editing videos and stuff like that. And, you know, and I, what I really want to do with being an influencer is really start talking more about like my story with anxiety and depression and really just kind of get it out there and be a influencer on that and if i can help anyone with that then you know and if i can help anyone like with anxiety or depression or anything like even just talk to them or even just make them feel better about themselves then that is my like ultimate goal you know i am in college right now i am actually 23 years old i will be turning 24 next month which is in march and i'm scared honestly i am so scared um i think 
I got into doing TikTok videos during like COVID time. I'm sure everyone did. And that's when I kind of got into it more and started to kind of like, oh my God, like I can actually like make money off of this, but I also enjoy doing it. I'm gonna be using the Milani concealer in the color 135 to conceal my under eyes and brighten up some spots. So yeah, so though, like I said, there's no really reason why I stopped making YouTube videos. I just, I guess you can say I kind of just got bored in a way and then COVID happened and then now I'm on TikTok and then I was like, you know what? I can start my YouTube again. I have more time on my hands, a little bit more time on my hands. So I feel like I can start editing videos and doing that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna go in with the Rare Beauty um, bronzer, cream bronzer stick. This is in the color Happy Soul. And I'm just gonna be putting this wherever. I do my makeup kind of weird now. Um, I kind of let my conceal sit and then I blend out like my cream products and then I will blend out my concealer and all that. So yeah. But now I'm going to talk to you guys about my anxiety. I want this channel to be like something that I can kind of like talk to you guys about like anything. Not like super, super personal, you know, not about like my relationship or whatever. Like, no, nothing like that. But like just kind of like give you guys an insight of like what I deal with. Um, and I'm sure it could help anybody that's out there that deals with some stuff that I deal with too. This is something that I have been dealing with for literally more than 10 years now. As I feel like I'm getting older, my anxiety and depression has gotten worse, which isn't kind of like the right mindset I should be saying, but that's just kind of like how I feel like and how I feel like it's kind of been for me, you know? So I have been dealing with a lot of anxiety. Um, right now, I feel like I'm good. I feel like I'm like, you know, good to like go out and stuff like that. I mean, I don't go anywhere, honestly. I really don't. Only time I go places is if, is if I like have to, you know? Um, but like recently, I have gotten this fear of like, traveling and i hate traveling now <laughs> i hate it so freaking much it's literally like the worst thing ever to me like when i think about it i'm like oh my god like traveling like oh like it's just it's just so much that goes on in my head so much that like i think about and i'm just like Ugh, like i just don't want to deal with it i don't want to deal with the packing I don't want to deal with like people rushing me or anything like that like I just honestly I hate it I really do <laughs> so yeah so that is kind of like what I'm dealing with right now currently um my anxiety is always have been all over the place I have days where I wake up with it and I'm just like uh like right now I'm having problems sleeping and like staying asleep and so I've been trying like different like stuff to help me sleep like i tried this like sleeping tea and i after i tried it one time and it 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 was good and everything like it just it was just tea you know and i felt like it did help me sleep and it nothing happened like i fell asleep and i was like okay like i can use this more to sleep with you know and then i also bought a like little sound little thingy from amazon that like helps you sleep it has like 15 or like 10 different sounds um and i kind of use that too to help me sleep at night um it has like a timer and i put the timer on for like two hours and you know after two hours it would just stop um but yeah no i mean that's kind of been helping me sleep but i the second time i tried the tea it hurt my stomach so freaking bad like no joke like my stomach was literally killing me and like i don't know why like it literally felt like i was like i don't know i can't even explain it like why i don't know why my stomach hurt 
and even my sister tried it and she said it hurt her stomach too so i don't know if it's just maybe like the ingredients in it or whatever but like i don't know it just hurt my stomach so bad that i like was like crying to my boyfriend because i was just like why is this hurting my stomach like this tea shouldn't be hurting my stomach you know like it should be putting my ass to sleep but no it literally hurt my stomach i didn't even tell you what blush i use i am I don't know you can probably just tell by the bottle i'm using the little little version of the charlotte tilbury um highlight blush and then i'm also going to top it off with a rare beauty blush which is in the color happy i'm gonna top that off but yeah no i don't know why i hurt my stomach um then i tried it for a third time just to make sure that it was the tea hurting my stomach and it was it was the tea that was hurting my stomach so overall i'm not going to be using that tea again and then i'm stupid i tried it out for a fourth time just to make sure because it was putting me to sleep but just literally like hurting like above my stomach so i was like yeah no so i tried it out for a fourth time like a dumbass and it hurt my stomach so i was like okay yeah not this isn't the tea for me this isn't it i'm not going to put myself through that pain again so we're not gonna do that so yeah so the tea was off the market i stopped using it now which is good you know but now i'm trying out something different now which is i can actually show you guys i had to go grab it but this is it right here this is the by the brand called vibrance right here and this is what I've been using. So it's basically called, it's called Good Night. It's Bio Frequently Sleep Aid Patches. So it comes with like 28. And I this is my third time trying it. It's a little sticky little thingy. And you put it on your wrist right here. You just peel the blue thing off. Stick it on your wrist. And the first night I tried it out. And I was like, okay. I was like. I don't feel sleepy um you know i was just kind of like eh, whatever but i think the more you use it at night the more it gets you to sleep the second night that i used it i was like i just kept like waking up going to sleep waking up going to sleep the second night then the third night like last night i knocked out like i knocked out and i woke up like ever since i've been taking those i've been waking up at nine which is like very rare for me because i am not a morning person i have never been a morning person um and i don't know why but it just has been making me like wake up at nine which is very weird i do have a discount code with this brand so if you guys do want to try them out they have other stuff like stuff for stress and i think um another patch for um i think like body aches i think something like that um, but I would highly recommend trying them out, honestly. I feel like over time, after like a week or two, I feel like once I keep using them, it will start to kind of like help me sleep. So I will be doing an update on those. But for right now, I feel pretty good about them. I feel like they are starting to work as you use it more. And I think that's what the product is made for. You kind of have to use it more to kind of, it's not going to help like right away, you know? um but yeah i mean that's kind of what i've been dealing with right now with my anxiety i think um like i said i'm still in school i am still in college my last semester will be next semester which is fall of 23 2023 and i will be getting my ring soon i have a picture of it i already know which ring i want and everything so I'm kind of excited for that and I'm excited but also nervous because I'm just a nervous person I get nervous about literally anything and everything I'm a nervous person I am an emotional person I freak out about anything anything like any change in my life I'm just like uh like why you know but that's just how I am honestly it's literally just how I am as of right now I am doing okay with my anxiety I am doing pretty good I 
I have been trying to distract myself with schoolwork. You know, I am working too. Um, I I think also oh also I wanted to mention that I did try to go back to living in San Antonio because I go to UTSA which is the University of Texas at San Antonio that's where I go and you're probably wondering like okay she's living back at home but like she's still in school and she only has one semester left like what you know it's kind of confusing so basically <laughs> it's actually kind of embarrassing but also kind of like you know like I mean it you know it, it works for me this is how I want to do school so whatever but um once COVID happened I basically went online as as I'm sure as like every other school went online too went online um I was online for like two semesters and then I just decided to keep staying online and then during that like two years of COVID of like it being like everyone was still kind of freaking out and you know um literally I my anxiety that's when my anxiety kind of kicked in and got worse I didn't want to go anywhere I I wasn't scared well I was scared of getting COVID because my aunt got COVID and her anxiety like heightened from it so with her experience it kind of got it made me scared and so I like was scared of getting it and then I finally did get it and then I felt fine you know my anxiety didn't you know I was fine with being at home because my room is literally my comfort zone it like you know I feel comfortable here like if I have anxiety like I just want to be in my room so I can just like be cuddled up put on little like any show like a Disney show and then just like fall asleep you know that's what helps me and that's what helps me like with my anxiety if I have anxiety attack like that's literally what I do um but within like those two years I was just I got used to being home and school was still providing online classes you know which I I'm thankful for honestly because if it did it then I would be having to go to San Antonio and like have anxiety, you know? But after like almost three years of being online, last semester, which was, what are we in? We're in spring of 23, last semester, fall of 22. That beginning of that semester, I decided, okay, I think I can go back now. I think I feel like I have the strength I've been you know talking to my therapist you know kind of like trying to get back on my feet again and go back to doing in-person classes and that was my second time trying to go back to doing in-person classes the first time I thought I could do it um like I talked to my dad my dad was like wait just give it a couple months we're not gonna sign anything yet we're not gonna sign any housings yet um just think about it and then literally out of nowhere, I broke down into tears and I was just like, dad, I can't. Like the thought about going back to San Antonio and being there alone with like no help and nobody to like, not necessarily like watch me, but kind of like, you know, help me through my anxiety if I'm having anxiety is just like, I can't, I can't. So that gave me more anxiety. <laughs> I decided to just stay online and then the beginning of fall of 2022 I was back on campus I decided to live on campus and not off campus just because I didn't know how I was gonna do I prepared myself for months for this and I honestly was excited like I was excited I felt like I was prepared I was good to go back to living like on campus again and the thought of it I was like yeah like I'll be I'll be working I'll be doing babysitting you know um I could just work on the weekends and then you know just keep myself busy with school and stuff like that and I had a roommate too my roommate was so sweet so 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 nice like I loved her and everything you know um 
even though she was a freshman and I was a senior. So it was kind of weird, you know, but like I'm not that social. <laughs> I, I'm not a social person. So, you know, it's like I just I just don't really like to be that social. Um, it might seem like I am social from how I talk on here and stuff like that, but like I'm kind of used to being in front of the camera and talking to the camera, like either with my phone or on the computer, I mean, or on like my camera camera. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm used to that. Um, but like going out or anything, like I'm just not a social per not a social person. Um, and yeah, and so after like, I think a month of being in San Antonio, um, I developed really bad anxiety, like really bad anxiety to the point where I wanted to like hurt myself. I wanted to die. And I remember everything that of that day, um, actually that weekend. Well, it started off, I got sick. And so I got really, really sick and I really couldn't go to my classes because I was having like body aches, this and that. I tested negative for COVID, it wasn't that. So I think I had like strep throat or something. Um, but yeah, so I kind of like, I got really, really sick and then, um, you know, I got how to go, I had to literally drive myself while sick to go get medicine and stuff like that. And it was horrible. I felt so bad, like so, so bad. And then, um, yeah, so I was like in bed for like a couple of days, like three days. And I did have a friend over there. Um, she was like, you know, that semester, that was her last semester there. And so me and her would like go on like little dates and like do study dates and go to Starbucks or like see each other on campus and stuff like that. So I did have one friend. I did. Um, but like I didn't have like a whole group of friends or anything like that. Like even like my, even my freshman year or sophomore year, I didn't have a group of friends or nothing. Like I wasn't into doing all of that stuff, you know, like. That's just like it, the clubs or anything or like going to the games really wasn't me, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I kind of like got sick and then I was feeling depressed. And then I think that's how I that's what like led on my anxiety. I got depressed and I was just like, OK, like I, I don't remember everything that I was thinking, too. I was like. If I have a panic attack, like, I I can't, like, I know my parents and, like, my boyfriend and, like, my siblings are a phone call away, you know, but, like, it's different, like, it's different, like, you know, I, from San Antonio here in Houston, it's like a three-hour drive, and even going, that weekend was actually, um, my brother goes to UT in Austin, and that weekend we were supposed to go to the game and the game was in Austin. It was UT, it was UTSA versus UT. And we were supposed to go, but I got so much anxiety. Like, first of all, I was just getting over being sick. Second of all, I don't know why. I think I know why now. When you're having an anxiety attack, it takes out like so much. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of like, it kind of just takes out so much of your energy that after you have the anxiety attack, you are so freaking tired. And after dealing with that, like over and over and over again, I was literally having anxiety attacks over, over and over again. I was emotionally and physically tired that day. I was just dealing with a lot, honestly, like I really was. And so I think when we were supposed to go to the game that weekend. I think that's when my anxiety starts to hit me. Like, oh my God, what if I have another anxiety attack? Or what if I feel like this again? Like, I'm gonna be with my dad. My dad's gonna be there. My sister's gonna be there, you know? Like, I would see my brother, you know? He just got out of the Air Force, so I haven't really seen him. You know, and I'll get to see like everybody, like my, you know, my family, you know? But it was just something about just physically driving there like I physically like I just couldn't I couldn't get myself to do it and so thinking about it I'm like 
God, it makes me want to cry. Because I'm just like, like, ugh, like, I could have done it. But I've learned now that, like, I can't keep putting myself in situations like that. You know, like, I have to put myself first. And, you know, that's what I did. And so, um... My dad ended up not going. They ended up not going, I think. I think, yeah. They ended up not going because you told them they could still go, you know. And then my dad was like, well, I'll, I'll pick you up. Like, I'll pick you up on the way back. And, you know, and you can come back home for a little bit. And maybe you just need to, like, be home for a little bit. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, one night, um, there was a night, one night, and that was my last night there, I was honestly having suicidal thoughts and I just I wanted I remember thinking like I just wanted to go into the kitchen and just kind of like grab a knife and just kind of like cut myself and and you know and I could not sleep that night at all my anxiety kept coming back and forth back and forth and it was a lot that night was truly a lot for me I didn't even tell you I'm using Sorry, I'm like rambling, <laughs> but I'm using the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder for like, you know, for my under eyes and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no, like that's kind of the start of, you know, after that night, that morning, I think I only got like two hours of sleep maybe. I was up, I woke up like at 8 a.m. and remind you too i was dealing with anxiety like the first two nights back in san antonio i was fine but i was waking up at 8 a.m every morning <laughs> with anxiety <laughs> like that whole time i was in san antonio i would wake up with anxiety calm myself down put on a disney movie and then just close my eyes and listen to the movie instead of listening to my thoughts that's what I had to do to keep myself like sane. So that was literally what I was doing. I was, that's like what I was like doing honestly the whole time. And yeah, so um, the next day I called my dad crying and I told him about like, you know, I was having suicidal thoughts and he was like, you're coming home. Just come home, just come home. We'll figure it out. Just come home. And ever since then, I've been home. <laughs> ever since then, I've been home. You know, I, the whole, the first couple of weeks of being home, um, I wasn't, like, doing my homework. I, um, to, like, I wasn't interested in school at all because I felt like I, like, failed myself and I did have to drop a class um, because it was you know like all the tests were in person and stuff like that and since I wasn't going to be in person anymore um, I kind of just had to like just drop the class honestly so that's kind of like the whole spiel of like my college experience now I'm literally 23 about to turn 24 I graduate next semester and my college life is almost over and it's like i i've literally like i've never gone to one game ever i lived on campus of course and i at least made one friend of course you know but never went to any of the parties didn't even know where the parties were honestly um but like yeah like i just I feel like I really didn't have that college experience because of my anxiety and I didn't really use the resources that I had honestly like um like after during actually during fall of 2020 or 2022 um when I came back home um my psychiatrist or it was either my psychiatrist or my therapist actually gave me the advice to actually student disability services that's what it's called to get involved with student disability services and like they can kind of like help me like keep my classes online um, since I only have like five more classes left and that's what I did 
I got in contact with them. I had to like submit so many documents with my therapist and my psychiatrist and stuff like that to like actually tell them that I have anxiety and depression, you know, to prove to them that I do. And yeah, so then I'm still with the disability services like program. I'm still working with them, you know, they're trying to get my for next my last semester they're trying to get all of those classes to be uh, like totally online because that's what i want i don't want to have to go back to san antonio honestly i mean i know i'm gonna have to go back once like school or once i like graduate and stuff like that and like walk the stage which i'm so freaking nervous about walking the stage like you have no idea how nervous i am i am like I'm shitting bricks, honestly. Like, that's just how I feel right now. Like, every time I think about it, I'm like, oh my god, what if I, like, throw up? And just, like, you know, or what if I, like, trip? And, like, everyone's gonna stare at me. Like, and I know it's a big accomplishment, because, like, it is. Like, I went through so much in college, like, like with my anxiety. And, you know, and what's funny is I want to be a therapist. Like, I am going to college to become a licensed therapist you know i'm in college my major is psychology my minor is wellness so i am in college to like you know to help people out with this i mean i can barely help myself out honestly <laughs> but you know i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying you know i'm on my medication you know it's another thing i am on medication um so i'm not just like you know i'm not just like not on medication i've been on medication for like more than 10 years now been on so many different types of medication um but yeah i'm on two medications right now for it and it helps me a lot i like it i feel like it's it's been good for me so yeah i mean i feel like this medication is very good for me and it helps me and it helped me just get through the day that's how i that's how i think about it so yeah, and right now I am doing my bronzer and some blush for bronzer. I am using the Cover FX bronzer. This is in the color Sun Kiss Bronze. This is how it looks. I've had this for like two years. Literally love it. It is so freaking pretty. It's a little dark for me, but I still use it because, you know, during the summer I get a little tan. That's even if I'll go anywhere. Like I said, I am scared of flying. I'm scared of road trips. Like, I don't even know if I'll be on a beach this summer. Don't even know. But for blush, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl blush. This is in the color True Blend So Flush. No, that's not the color. That's the name. This is in the color 345. And this is it right here. It is so pretty. This... Like, literally a little goes a long way with this. So you gotta have to, like, use it with a light hand. But, and I, I like to put blush on my nose because I think it just looks cute. And the blush is, like, the first thing that kind of, like, comes off of my face, like, over time. So, like, throughout the day. So that's why I always go in with blush, a lot of blush at first because, you know, that's the first thing that comes off of my face now i'm just gonna take away the baking i'm honestly not going anywhere today i'm just doing my makeup just because maybe i'll make some tiktoks since i have my makeup done but now i'm gonna go in with my since i already have my mascara on i will show you guys what mascara i use it's the ilia mascara which this is literally the best mascara like i love this mascara so much just trust me it is so good like literally this is the best mascara i have ever ever had and i literally love it so i mean i already have it on as you can see it looks really really pretty and i love it so much i also forgot to mention that i did put brow gel like in my eyebrows and the one that i use is by nyx it's the brow glue um i don't know i think that's just what it's called it's this one right here 
um, and it kind of laminates my brows, which I like. And it doesn't, like, leave, like, white stuff or anything, which I really, really like. So I love this brow stuff. It's cheap, affordable. We love it. And then I guess I'm just going to, I'm going to use this Sephora um, brow pencil and just kind of, like, fill in my brows just a little bit. I'm actually, right after I'm done with this video, I'm probably going to edit it and maybe post it either today or tomorrow. I don't know, so we'll see. But now that I'm basically almost done with my makeup, wow. We are going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill. This is the highlighter in Mesmerize. I love this stuff so much. And I'm going to put this where I basically just put like my blush I love me a good highlighter and it's not like a chunky highlighter or anything like this highlighter like basically like just makes everything look smooth and nice which I love for lips I'm gonna go in with my benefit play tint right here this is I'm assuming this is in the color play tint I think but we're just gonna put this on my lips I have literally had this for a long time and it has lasted me such a long time which we love I am almost done with my makeup and almost done with this little chit chat get ready with me guys I've told you guys so much today so much in this video like if you guys have any questions or like anything, feel free to like DM me on Instagram or like even questions about my anxiety or depression. I'm an open book. This is something that I have been dealing with for years now. I am literally learn about it in class. Like I'm literally taking three psychology classes and one health class this semester online. So it's not something new. I literally talk about it. I see it, I see about it, I talk about it every single day, so it doesn't really necessarily give me anxiety talking about it, honestly. It's something that I know that I'm going to deal with for the rest of my life, and I know that like just one day it's not just gonna go away. I know it's like it'll take time and effort, and I'm okay with that. I am okay with, you know, dealing with it and if it makes me weird or if it makes me you know like if somebody doesn't like me because i deal with anxiety or depression or if it makes me like too much of a crybaby or whatever i don't know i don't care because it's literally part of my life and you know if i have to take medicine to literally help me survive literally help me throughout the day like be normal and like just be myself then i am okay with that i don't care if i have to be on medication for the rest of my life i don't care as long as it is helping me and helping me you know with my anxiety and depression then i am okay with it honestly because you know i feel like there's a stigma around medicine and like medicine is so bad for you and like especially like anxiety medications like yeah there are so many side effects with when it comes to anxiety medications and depression medication but you just got to do what works for you and that's what I always tell people I mean I'm not a therapist I'm not a psychiatrist I'm not anything like that yet but do whatever works for you and whatever makes you happy because if you're not doing it for yourself then you know, it's like, what are you doing it for? You know, because at the end of the day, you are, everything that you're doing is for yourself, is for you, not for anyone else, for you. So while with this long journey of anxiety, I came to realize that everything that I do is for myself and to keep me alive and well and to keep me like, intact so yeah i mean that's like my little i guess advice that i would give you guys for this video um but i'm gonna go in with the tart um maracuda maracuda juicy lip pump 
This is it right here. This is in the color Cherry Blossom. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. I like it because it's like a natural nude shade, which I love. I think I'm done with my makeup. This is how my makeup turned out. I this is literally what I do every day. Not every day. Um, if I want to like really really do my makeup, this is how I do it. If I want to, you know, look more presentable and look have maybe a little bit more full coverage, this is what I do. But yeah, I mean, I hope you guys learn some stuff about me, learn some more stuff about me, and I hope you guys stay tuned for more videos like this. I have so many ideas of videos that I want to do for my channel and stuff like that and I hope you guys stick around and subscribe as well but yeah I mean I kind of let out so much stuff right now in this video <laughs> it was probably too much maybe but you know I kind of had to, I feel like I kind of had to like talk to you guys about you know a little bit before I start making more videos because you know a lot of people will ask about some stuff and you know I'm not afraid to talk about my anxiety or depression like I said it doesn't define me or it doesn't you know hurt me or anything um, it's a learning process and I'm learning stuff about me every single day so yeah <laughs> I am excited to make this my first video my first coming back video for youtube and i hope you guys subscribe and make sure to follow me on instagram and on tiktok and if you guys have any questions about anything comment it down below or you can feel free to dm me as well if you have questions about my anxiety like i said i am not a therapist but if you just want someone to relate to like me then I'm here for you honestly I love to talk about stuff like this I love to share my story um, and that's what I want to do just share my story share my struggles and if it could help anybody at least one person then that would make my day better and make me feel more alive so yeah this is this is why I am in college to help people and to really just talk about you know talk about this subject more because i feel like it's not talked enough about and i feel like it's not seen as something serious also so yeah like i said subscribe to this channel and i cannot wait to make more videos with you guys bye